The use of accelerated finishing tools to increase surface finish while decreasing cycle time has grown rapidly in the last few years. MasterCam 2022 builds upon past releases and delivers more ways for you to utilize these tools in your programming. In 2021, we introduced the pocketing path to MasterCam, which allowed users to control multi-axis motion by targeting specific areas of the tool flute to use during wall and floor finishing. Let's explore what's been added to enhance pocketing in the newest release of MasterCam. I'd like to finish machine the orange cupped area on this bicycle suspension arm. I have a few accelerated finishing tools in my library, and before I even launch a path, I'd like to see which ones might be viable for cutting this surface. I'll turn on Show Tool in the View tab of the ribbon, which allows me to get a preview of the activated tool in the Tool Manager that follows my cursor around. The direction of the tool respects the currently active tool plane. This tool happens to be a barrel tool, and if I hold it over an auto cursor position close to the orange surface, I can immediately see that the tool radius is too big to be used here. If I go back into the Tool Manager, my oval form tool, number 8, has an even bigger effective radius than my barrel, so it probably wouldn't be a good choice either. I do have this smaller lens tool, so let's see what that might look like. I'll right click on my tool and choose Set Display Tool to change the graphic view away from the barrel form. Since the lens form would be cutting with the face instead of the side of the tool, I'll also change my tool plane to the left plane to switch the orientation of the display. Now, hovering over some auto cursor points on the surface, I can see that this tool has a much better shot of giving me a good path. Let's turn off Show Tool and launch a pocketing path. I'll select my lens tool and jump right into cut pattern. We're going to use a floor finishing pattern with a parallel strategy. For floor geometry, I'll select my orange surface and then add the entire rest of the part to machining geometries to tell the path what it needs to avoid colliding with. I'll leave the step over at one millimeter. Now let's move on to tool axis control. Multi-axis motion in this path is controlled by defining minimum, maximum, and preferred contact points along the length of the tool. This is a radical departure from traditional tilt angle control, and visualizing what these percentages mean can be difficult, especially to someone new to accelerated finishing tools. These helper graphics highlight what the fields are actually controlling. The dot representing the targeted contact point and the green band representing the allowed contact area. Note that these are not live previews of your specific tool geometry, but general images based on assumed tool type. Let's set the minimum contact point to 0%, use a preferred contact point of 10% to tilt the tool away from the zero speed tip wherever possible, and a maximum contact point of 60%. This gives us a fairly large range for the path to shift the tool angle to try and machine everything we told it to. With that done, let's generate and take a look at the path. Jumping into backplot, I can see that the path did a good job of maintaining the contact point I specified. One thing I haven't considered is that in the final program, there will be rest material in these arm corners here that my lens tool would be plunging into to start these passes, which is not ideal. With that in mind, it would be better if I had a path that naturally avoids these entry issues, so let's reopen my parameters and fix this. For 2022, wall and floor finishing now have the ability to follow a custom guide curve for the parallel strategy. Previously, this was auto-generated to the longest dimension of the collective group of floor or wall surfaces. Let's choose the short edge of this orange surface and regenerate.
What we have now are clean, even passes that would be entering from air and sweeping across the orange surface before smoothly relinking back to the other side. All with minimal input from the user other than the guide curve and the desired contact point. Being able to visualize what your path is doing is critical to getting the most out of accelerated finishing tools. And MasterCam 2022 continues to innovate to provide you with the best interface to do so.